Pops and welcome back to my Skyrim Let's Play. So I'm gonna be putting up a, a, an update video on my channel talking why I'm doing Skyrim first, then my Death Space series because since I have too many series going on, oh I cannot steal it, oh I cannot take it away, damn it. What did I take up? Uh, whatever. It says, okay, so I want to explain. Since I have my Dead Space series going on, and of course I uploaded Bioshock because of the lack of videos, I was thinking, because there's going to be way too many videos, way too many series on my channel, and also I haven't been able to upload as frequently as I used to do, because when I used to upload like a, a bit, like at least a video every day, I used to go to school and use my college's and uh, use my college's internet because I can upload like 10 videos in like in an hour. But since I'm actually at home, I cannot do that. Oh, can I sit here? Yeah, bitch. No, well, okay, sorry. So, what is my objective? All right, so I'm, that's gonna be an update video on my channel pretty soon. It's a uh, season ending. Talk to Offering Stormcloak. Alright. And I haven't played this game in a while. Um. What the hell? Oh, I have not discovered this place. Oh! Okay. So we'll, we won't be, um. Uh. Traveling that much. Oh uh, no. Please don't tell me he's gonna crash. It always crashes on me, and I hate it. Well, the music's playing, so let's hope it doesn't crash. Come on! Come on, game! Like, what the hell? Ah, no! It crashed! Oh my god, I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna be right back when the game doesn't crash no more. So, BRB, guys. Sorry about that. Alright, guys, and we're back. And I actually found a place that is closer that I can go down. And as soon as I spawned, this skull was going down. So yeah, I don't know what is up with that. Like, like horse, what do you do? Like, why is there like bones everywhere? Okay, so what is this? Oh, this is where I left the. Oh, okay, I'm stupid. So, hold on. Caution, Wilhelm. No, I went to a college. I used to place a marker and went home. That away. Okay. So let's go, horsey. Hopefully it's um, not that long of a trip. I'm calling me. Don't call me now. No, oh, somebody's calling me. All right, so it's gonna be like a uh, c no commentary r right about now. So give me a minute, guys. Give me one minute. Okay, that person hang up like hanged up because <laughs> like, I think I took too long for it to pick up. Oh my god. That better not be a dragon, dude. Oh, 
Okay, good. Oh, no! No, I was gonna say, why can't they have GPS, like, in technology back then? And then I remember, like, when I used to, in the earlier parts of my Skyrim last play, I was, like, in a city on the ground where there were robots attacking me. Yeah, so that kind of technology kind of exists. Oh, mill, okay. So if I die, I can just, just, mill. Oh no, I forgot my timer, oh damn it. Is this a way to go up here? Oh yeah. Hopefully that's it. There we go, Wenham Stables. Oh, can I leave my horse here? I'm gonna leave my horse here, but nobody better steal it. Here. Okay, let's go. Wow, okay. My character is out of stamina quick. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual trying to call the dark. Oh my god, I hate the loading, the loading time in Skyrim is so painful, but I get it because it's such a big game. Hmm. Thank you. ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Damn. Nothing new there. Most of the north, he likes to get drunk and walk around the great quarter yelling insults at us in the... 
some of these nodes will, and it isn't just the dark elves they hate. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a nord is fair game for their bullying. All right then. I mean, is he here? How the hell are you alive? If you're talking, dude. Mm. I'm not gonna ask. You took a sword to the chest. That's worse than the guy who took an arrow to the knee. Took a sword to the chest. I can't go in war no more. But you're still alive. How does that make sense, man? Oh He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted Corey. Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long I remember you. are you going to You're in Helgen with us. Come to join the war. Speak with Garmar. He handles the new recruits. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Garmar. What does bring you here? It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, we're all doomed anyway. And if it isn't true, well, then the fight to free Skyrim goes on. Either way, I don't see the use in talking to the Empire. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. Oh my god. I doubt the Empire has the stomach. Yes, I'll give Tullius one. You think I need to send Bolgroff a stronger message? If by message you mean shutting the Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then. Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torik. Torik was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our Alright, so let me get out of this place so I can just fast travel to the Greybeards. Oh, I'll pick the lock and break in. Oh, I got half of this guy in Let's Play just loading screens. Oh my god, I thought I crashed when the music stopped. Alright, so let's go on our map. And, uh... Yes. Here we go.
Go horse. <laughs> Violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves. In then why you made me do it? Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ink? But regrets. Take your seat at the council table. And let us see what we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, oh, that works. you know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? Oh, say here. Oh, okay. We all wait upon you. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. That we have all come here no. in the spirit of you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Hallows Hunter, that didn't take long. If from here, here, I have every right to be at this negotiation. Oh, my God, I'm standing up, aren't I? Oh, my God, I'm floating. You don't mind me, guys. I'm a, I'm a dragonborn, I can float. Oh, no, no. Look at the handsome face. Please. Yeah. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input. I like to sit down. By Isner's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table as that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Um... Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me, but I'll bow to your judgment. Just sit down, bro. I can take you in one hit. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? I am. You guys, I know I'm floating. You got a problem? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your thumbs and killing your sons. She's supposed to be a monster? Exactly. Enough. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say, sir. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. We're here to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragon. Nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Oh my god. I'm floating, yes. General Tullius, 
This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiation? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Murkars at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough! First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. Stop looking at me! You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. I don't know what the fuck is Markarth. Oh, what's Downstar? In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Ripton seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric. Plus all the mead we can drink. Fair enough. I was hoping you could put aside your loyalties for the greater good, but I see you're firmly in Ulfric's camp. Still, having another port would ease our supply situation considerably. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Ulfric will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Markarth without a fight. Okay. The board has spoken, Gullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. I don't blame you, Dragonborn. You made the best of a bad situation. But I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Ah! <sighs> Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does it have to That's do with that? That's enough out of you. I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that. Oh my god!
We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your This is our homeland, Tholius. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. You've been even-handed so far. What do you say to our demand? Oh my god. Oh no, dude. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Oh, whatever. I knew I could count on you. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Ulfric will allow Imperial forces into the Pale, Gold the Elder will go into exile, and Brynna Merilis will assume the Jarlship. Winterhold will be turned over to the Empire, although the College itself will retain its traditional neutrality. Are we done here? You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the dragon menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, right. giving up on no fucking I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plans. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. I'm afraid there's a problem. A serious problem. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief and his tool in his crimes? The Blades have been hunting him for centuries. Justice demands that he die for his crime. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. I anticipate the problem. While an unguessed cross-reference... <sighs> Don't you see? By calling the dragon with his voice, hear you. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prime. Your voice in particular is likely. I think it's very likely that you will be unable to resist him. Ah, yes. I'm no master. Oh, ah, king. Winged the Just snow. say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. Oh, okay. How to lure a dragon All right. Guess we're done. You'll have to speak up. I'm a little deaf in my right ear. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye.
I have Dragon Man equipped, right? Yeah, I do. 